Welcome to Python Beginner 8, Exceptions. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. Exceptions is the concept of catching errors while the program is running and doing something about it so the user doesn't have to experience the program crashing or not working. Most often this happens with user inputting incorrect data for our variables or trying to open a file to, to read that doesn't exist. To avoid our program crashing and getting no feedback or not handling the issue, we will learn how to use the try statement and the syntax is as follows. Try, do stuff here, except do this stuff if any of the code in the try has failed. So we can surround anything with this try and accept. And we only use it around things that can fail, so there's no point around putting it around something that we've hard-coded to set. So let's create a little program called toot8.py that will try to open a text file that doesn't exist called blah.txt. When it can't open the file, instead of crashing, we'll catch the exception and print out that the file could not be found. Okay. So let's come over to Linux here and let's create a new file called vim toot8 dot pi and now let's write our main function so def main brackets colon and we indent once now we write our try colon and then we indent twice and now let's try and open a file called blah so we go f equals open open brackets blah dot txt close quotes comma r for read so we're going to try and open a file called blah dot txt in read mode that doesn't exist now for line in f so for each line in the file that doesn't exist we want to print line and we will strip it as well so strip so just good practice do our backslash n so this is how we'd normally write our, our file handling code and then we close our file so f dot close close brackets and now we write our accept so in the same in indentation level one in from the left we write accept so it's at the same indentation level as the try however it's further down in the code we do our accept colon so this code will execute if that anything inside the try has failed so let's just print out print the file was either not found found or unable to be read and then we close that quote and now we've finished our program let's do our if statement so if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equal to open quotes underscore underscore main underscore underscore close quotes uh, colon we run main and our program's finished let's save that so save that and now let's run it so python 28.py and we get the file was either not found or unable to be read. Now, just like an if, the try except block can be put around anything. So we put it around all of our file code because there is a chance that that file won't exist. So now if we wanted to, we could create that blah file. So let's go vim blah.txt and then we can start putting some stuff in here so let's put in hi my name oops, name is traps and we'll save this and now we run our program again this time we get our output and it doesn't crash so the except never runs now one optional word for our try except is the finally statement 
So this is optional. You don't have to use it when you use a try and accept, and it comes after the exception block. The finally will always run the final block of code. So the syntax is try, do this stuff, accept, do this stuff if the try failed, and finally always do this stuff. So let's let's write a quick finally statement and add on to our current uh, our current uh, program. So let's open up our program and let's edit our program. This time let's try opening blah1 because we've already created a blah file. So let's make a blah1 which doesn't exist. And then we'll, after our accept, on the same indentation as the accept, we'll do a finally. So finally colon. So this code will always run. We indent twice. We print exiting so this will always run uh, no matter what whether the try uh, fails or doesn't fail and let's save this and run our program so file was either not found or unable to be read so it's exiting now we open up our program again and this time we'll edit it and put it back to blah and we'll save and quit. Oops. Save and quit. And you'll notice that it still prints out the exiting after it prints out all of our lines in the file. So it's important to handle errors. So it's important to handle errors so the end user doesn't have to see see them crash your software. So this is why we use tries and accepts. And we can also use tries and accepts for more than just outputting error messages. But more on that later. This concludes our look at exceptions in Python. Don't fear if you don't remember all of this. You can easily come back and rewatch this video to con consolidate all the information. If you have any questions and you can't find the answer after a quick Google search, feel free to leave them in the comments. Next, we'll be covering modules. Thanks for watching.